Hi, I'm Max Glass, and I'm applying to Dream It for fall 2012 as a strategist. I'm based in Philadelphia, and I'm 100% committed to joining a startup full-time in the fall. I did a, an undergraduate degree at Penn in neuroscience and a master's degree in applied positive psychology. I did an internship while at Penn in operating company private equity. Then after I graduated, I worked for a real estate private equity firm. After I finished my master's, I went and I worked at a, an executive search firm recruiting C-level executives for tech. Tech is where I want to be. It's the best place to be right now. It's the greatest center of growth in our economy. And frankly, it's the greatest fit for my strengths as an individual and as an entrepreneur. Knowing full well that entrepreneurship was the best path for me, I set about in the summer of 2010 to find the right entrepreneurial opportunity. And having had a little bit of experience in real estate, I thought that maybe what I could do is find a neighborhood in Philadelphia where I could develop a project and make an impact and also make money. And what I did was I met with the head of the neighborhood association. I learned about different neighborhoods in Philadelphia actually, but one neighborhood in particular caught my attention which was Graduate Hospital because it had experienced 61% income growth in the past five years. And it seemed apparent that there was an undersupply of commercial space in the neighborhood. The neighborhood association had just received grant funding to do a pocket park on one of the corners, the intersection of 22nd and Catherine Street. So I went to this intersection, realizing that there would be positive externalities as a result of this park project, and saw three corners that were in shell condition and could definitely be redeveloped. I put one of the corners under agreement of sale, and then I went through the development process, a process I had never actually been through. And that process involved taking it taking the building and the project through zoning with the neighborhood and then the city zoning board. It involved designing the building from the ground up. When I ran out of financing to do my project, I had a financing gap. I found a mezzanine lender, a nonprofit lender funded by the city commerce department, PIDC, uh, to give me a low interest loan at 2.75% fixed for 15 years because my project was going to create jobs which make the financials on my project look particularly good because my blended cost of capital is now only around 4%, which for a commercial project is pretty fantastic. It involved leasing the building, and I leased it before I even start, before I even purchased the land. That was important to me. I, I believe it's fundamental. You need to sell your product before you even make it. And, and that applies to real estate, not just software. And so what I did was I, I leased it, and then I bought the building, and then I got financing, and then I built the building from the ground up, bid it out to a contractor, agreed on a price, and, uh, and, and we built this thing. And the beautiful thing now is that the building is fully leased, and uh, actually just yesterday, uh, my ground floor tenant, Ultimo Coffee, just won Best Coffee Shop in Philadelphia by Philly Magazine, the best of Philly. I, I like going after challenges. I like building things from idea to conception. I don't take no for an answer. I find solutions when other people uh, only see problems. It was incredibly gratifying. It was incredibly challenging. It was, uh, you know, I was full of doubt the entire time. I, I never thought I would find any success in doing it, but I kept going because I couldn't stand the thought of failure. Hustle is what I'm great at. I built a relationship with the general counsel of the housing authority over two years. Hey, I've got now the other corners on the intersection under agreement of sale at an appraised value that I provided the appraisal. I mean, it's a, it's a great deal for me and it's come purely from hustle. And the beauty of real estate is really that you can outsource almost everything. And I really have this mentality that a lean startup is one that outsources as much as possible. I'm outsourcing the design to an architect. I'm outsourcing the build to a contractor. I'm outsourcing the construction management to my contractor and my architect who I've made partners in the venture. I'm outsourcing the management once it's, it's finished. So basically all I do is coordinate everything. I'm absolutely determined to join a tech startup in the fall. And I think that an incubator environment is the absolute best place to do that, where you've got access to mentorship and office space and potential funding. Getting involved in a startup that I think fits my strengths even better, a startup that is not as capital intensive, a startup that is much more about creativity and scalability. So that's why I'm applying. I'm also based in Philadelphia, and Dream It seems like the best opportunity to find a breakout tech startup in this city. Ultimately, I want to prove it to you. I want the chance to be a part of a Dream Adventure startup and show you what I've got.